In Matthew chapter 24, verse 29, the Bible says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. Take note of that word, the sun be darkened. And the moon shall not give a light. And the star shall fall from heaven. And the powers of the heavens shall be taken, shall be shaken. Take note of that. And the powers of the heavens shall be taken. From the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 5, Ty will not permit us to take everything, but I will go straight to the point. In verse 3, the Bible says, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Let's take down verse 4. The Bible says, But he, brethren, are not in darkness, that they should overtake you as a thief. Lord, write my name in the book of life and draw me closer to you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, write my name in the book of life and draw me closer to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is dream about end of the world. Dream about end of the world. Yes, God has told us that there's going to be end of the world. God has told us in the book of Revelation that there are, there are going to be end of the end times. The end times, so, taken from the book of Revelation, that there's going to be hunger, there's going to be war, there's going to be pestilence. So dream about end of the world has so, several meanings. So for the purpose of this broadcast, we are going to tell you the spiritual effects about a dream about end of the world. Number one, it represents a day of reckoning. Number two, it represents a day of resurrection. If you are dreaming about the end of the world, it means a day of resurrection. Number three, it represents a day of judgment and rapture. As a child of God, when you are having this dream, it means a day of judgment and rapture. So, what is about to, to be taken away from you? The judgment of God. So, this is the time for you to start praying for mercy and forgiveness. Number four, it represents a sign, a sign of blowing of trumpet. Number five, it represents a time for restitution and repentance. Then we have other meanings about dream about end of the world. We have the other meanings. Number one, it represents unexpected change. Number two, it represents a face out of a generation. Number three, it represents tragedy and great tribulations, as taken from the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. Then number four, it represents wash and pray. Then the number six point is eternal life with Christ. So when you are dreaming about end of the world, it means about having eternal life with Christ. Now, when you are dreaming about end of the world, it can come as a result of frustration. It can come as a result of disappointment. Now, as a child of God, nothing is going on with you. It's like, ah, ah, this is going to the end of the world. I am tired of life. I am depressed. Nothing is working for me again as a child of God. I am a businessman. Nothing is working in my business. I am a minister. Nothing is working. Something is going end of the world in your life. And I pray for you today. Every darkness around your life, there shall be light in the name of Jesus. Dream about how the world is going to end. Do you dream how the world is going to end? Do you know if the world will end by flood or by light? Are you feeling scared or making registration immediately after this dream? The truth is, nobody knows when the apocalyptic world will manifest. But the Bible as one Christian of the end time. The Bible as one Christian of the end of the world coming soon. In the book of Revelation, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 29, listen, Jesus said that immediately after the tribulation, those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the star shall come from heaven, shall be shaken. A dream about apocalyptic, which is the end of the world, is a deep revelation preparing believers, preparing believers for the second coming of Christ. Many dreams about the end of the world does not mean that the does not mean the apocalypse 
But it means that the end of wickedness, when you are dreaming about the end of the world, it can also mean the end of wickedness. What wickedness are you participating? What kind of attitude are you doing? So when you are dreaming about the end of the world, it means the end of wickedness in your life. May the wickedness of the wicked in your life be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Many people dream of the end of the world when a sudden change or situation is happening. If you are dream of the world and the world coming to an end, don't panic. It's telling you to look at your life and your relationship with people and God. Is it a good or bad relationship? These dreams tells you everything about you is coming to an end. The shock you feel during this dream can often be influenced or reflected on your face when you wake up from the sleep. Many people have, have this dream when they are not sure of their salvation. You might be afraid that the trumpet may sound today or that you are feeling that God is angry with you. End of the war is supposed to indicate end of affliction, hunger, joblessness, but the enemy uses it to stop a major change in your life. A dream of this nature represents massive destructions, mistake, darkness, end of certain goodness in your life. People who feel threatened, scared, insecure are likely to have this dream about the end of the world. It could also mean that your unwillingness to avoid certain issues affecting your generation. This dream means your resistance to reign in your season. Your resistance, the resistance to reign in your season. You may be going through a stressful situation. So you may be feeling it is the end of the world. When you are having stubborn blocks, when you are having ups and downs, promise and faith, you may be feeling that it's end of the world. Nothing is working out for you. If you are under a serious challenge, it's possible that you will dream of the end of the world. Praise the living Jesus. The sign of the end time, as I said, number one, it brings war. Number two, it brings hunger. As taken from the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 7, Jesus says, there will be food shortages. Number three, there will be earthquake. Jesus says, there will be great earthquakes. As taken from the book of Luke chapter 21, verse 11, many powerful earthquakes are now expected. Number four, disease, pestilence. Jesus said there will be pestilence. Dangerous disease will spread quickly. Praise the living Jesus. So when you are dreaming about the end of the world, then something is about to end in your life. So what are these things that are about to end in your life? When you are dreaming about the end of the world, you are feeling sad. You are feeling threatened. You are feeling fearful. It's about something is about to end in your life. The darkness. Is about to overshadow you. End of the world comes with darkness. Ends of the world comes with judgment. Ends of the world comes with rapture. Ends of the world comes with tribulation. Ends of the world comes with with anger of God. Ends of the world comes with end of afflictions. So when you are feeling happy, it can bring ends of affliction, ends of joblessness in your life. So the end part of that dream will determine whether the dream is positive or whether the dream is negative so in some cases whereby you dream about the end of the world with flood just at the story of noah the end of the world comes with flood then it shows that god is showing you a sign for you to prepare for the second coming of christ god is telling you that judgment is about to be placed upon you or upon the earth so the end of the world is coming through flood so you have to pray for god to have mercy and forgive you of your sins so if you are dreaming about the end of the world approaching if the end of the world is approaching, then it's a warning message for God to show you that revelation. God wants you to start making preparation. God wants you to seek Him first. God wants you to, to make a restitution. God wants you to make a repentance of your sin. God wants you to make a change of your spiritual life. God wants you to have a good standing with Him. God wants you to do to preach and do the gospel of Jesus Christ. God wants you to start visiting those assignments God has placed in your hand. When you are dreaming about being survivor after the end of the world, after the end of the world, you have discovered that you are the survivor. Then that can represent salvation. That can represent restoration. After the end of the world, you survive. It means that God will write your name in the book of life. Then it shows that the judgment of God upon your life is divine. It's going to be for your own advantage. Then it tells you, that God has so many things to do in your life. It's just like a case somebody died. And when somebody died, he saw heaven and earth. He saw heaven and earth. 
And as the person is going, about to go to hell, the person comes back to the head. It means that God has survived. There's a second chance for you. So there are many reasons why you could be dreaming about end of the world. It could be for financial problems. There's a divorce coming, a debt coming, marital issue, unable to establish a successful business. So there are also it can also be as a result of joblessness, as a result of trying and trying and trying and trying without no effort. Praise the living Jesus. So what are the way out about the end of the world? What are the way out? The way out is to give your life to Christ. Your, the way out is to be connected to Jesus. The way out is to repent from every no sin. The way out is to start doing good things to people. The way out is to prepare for the second coming of Christ. The way out is to cry out for mercy and forgiveness. The way out is to ask God to show you the way. Lord, any good thing that is coming to an end in my life, Father, scatter it in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that is coming to an end in my life, Father, scatter it in the name of Jesus. Scatter it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are blessed by that broadcast, write your name pointing to end of the world. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel today. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from the...